Now it's going to take me to my Royal Mail click and drop courier detail page from which I can choose what type of label I want to choose. That might be business mail tracked. That might be anything that Royal Mail click and drop currently offers. You'll be able to choose the label here. Now, what I have is Royal Mail 48, which is with the service code CRL48. I'm just going to choose that from the drop down and click on add preset. It's going to finish my setup and now I can start using my system. The first hundred orders, like I've talked about, is automatically applied to your system. Now, orders at this stage, so after seven minutes, is completely ready to go. You have your company details, you have your sales channels, you have couriers, you have the labels you want to print. One last thing you might want is the addresses that you're going to use in your system, which can be reached by coming to this page and scrolling down, you'll see a card called Address Manager. Now, Address Manager automatically takes your company address, but if you have multiple addresses that you use for different purposes, you can add them here. Same thing applies for your company users. So, orders can be used with 10 to 15 different people. So all I need to do is click on users. I can see myself here as an admin. If I want to invite someone, all I need to do is give them a name, set their email address here, and then what level of permissions they should have. I want them to be also an admin like me because he's my partner. So I'm just going to set them as admin and send them a request right now. I refresh this page now, I can see the current invitations I have, whether they've accepted my invitation or not. See them with the status here. I can resend if they say that they want to receive the email. And any new orders that I get from my Shopify channel will be pulled here. And any inventory items that are inside the sales channel will also be pulled here.